you guys see how Elon Musk sees assets and acquires them, right? These episodes give us an almost similar attitude about the virtuous woman who has an investor attitude because the Bible says the virtuous woman sees land and acquires it. Therefore, she is an investor. And that is part of what we will be talking about in today's episode. So what type of a woman do you want to be? I'd like to be the Proverbs 31 type of woman. Um, so who is the Proverbs 31 type of woman? What's up you guys? Today's episode is going to be about the virtuous woman. Or as other versions may say, the noble woman. And if you ask people, um, there's this analogy of the Proverbs 31 kind of woman whom almost every man, I believe, wants to have as their wife. Now, the Proverbs 31 woman is obviously a wife as she is described in some of the attributes given there. She's described as, first of all, a wife. And um, she has a home, she has servants working under her, and she is obviously a businesswoman. Now, when I look at the Proverbs 31 woman, the Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31, this woman is, um, I mean, I see a smart woman. I see a selfless, strong lady. I see a boss lady. I see a responsible woman, a dignified woman who fears the Lord, who goes about her tasks willingly, eagerly, and thoroughly, and like does them so thoroughly. She doesn't let complaining or laziness overcome her. And she leads her home with integrity and discipline, okay? So before we go too far, I actually have just a um, small little story time. Now, when we talk about being a wife and, um, you know, being married, this is a topic that comes up ever so often, and uh, this is a part of marriage, submission. Now, when it comes to submission and the woman being asked to be submissive to the husband i know that this can be a very touchy subject for most of the ladies and um it becomes a difficult subject to understand somebody says how can i submit to another person it's almost as if submission is slavery but really uh it's you are not they are slave you are their wife and submit submitting doesn't mean being degraded or anything um so here's the story time before i I just go out of topic i have a family friend of mine or should i say just somebody i know whom whose wife wasn't giving them the best uh, home environment. So here's the thing. You meet a girl, you love her, you marry her, you take her home, you build a home together, you raise kids, and then it gets to a point where this lady doesn't seem to give you your peace of mind. You don't feel at home when you are at home. You don't feel like a man when you are at home. And it goes to a point where this guy um, who had already bought land, established a home, literally built a house, um, moved out. He moved out. He left the wife there and the kids there and sought off to find, you know, another home. I don't know if it's with another lady, but he just had to move out. And 
after hearing that, like after getting to see that incident, that hasn't been the first one I have seen ever since that time. I have heard of three more incidents where the guy literally doesn't have a peace of mind in his own house that he has to move out and prefers to live on his own rather than go home and uh, be, I don't know, under stress or I don't know what happens because I don't have all the gist of what happened. But before I move out of my own home and leave people that I brought there, I mean, a lot has to have happened, right? So that is the story time. And this is what is the lesson covering uh, today's episode where we talk about a virtuous woman. Now, from the story time, we can tell like one of the top um, lessons to pick is that a man needs their peace of mind they need to trust their wife fully and that the wife should not do any harm to the husband because if the husband is feeling like they are suffering they will move out to find peace okay so the bible describes this woman as a woman whom whose husband trusts her fully and this man has no reason to regret for trusting the wife how many women do we know have let down their husbands and let down their yes their husbands to the point where the husbands don't trust their wives you know how you hear of these incidents where it's as if the husband is controlling the wife but if you really look into it it's because this guy doesn't trust the wife um and somebody will say, oh, so why did you marry somebody whom you don't trust? It's um, it's difficult to explain that, but it happens. So basically, you need to be a trusted woman. You need to make sure that your husband can trust you, can trust you. And when he trusts you, don't do harm to him. Don't make him regret trusting you. And um, the other thing that the Bible describes about this woman is that she does good for her husband and not harm. So if this, from the story time, if this woman was doing good to the husband and not harming him, I don't think the husband would have moved out. And um, she is also focused on making her husband's life better. She is focused on teaching her children and she is focused on serving God. So I feel like these are some of the basic attributes of just life and relationship. And this tells us that life doesn't have to be complicated. It's us that makes it complicated when we go so much into some aspects that aren't on the surface. I mean, most of these things are self-explanatory and... uh, when we go so much deeper we tend to unearth things that are beyond our control and just that makes life difficult next is uh, um just trying to learn more and the reason why i'm sort of moving very quickly across the subject is um there are so many opinions and so many perspectives nowadays and without offending anyone and without um i mean these things are they look simple i am not there myself i am not a wife and but i hope that when it comes to that time when i am somebody's wife i adhere to these qualities that seem so simple but really they are not so simple based on how how we do life nowadays where people for example how this woman is described is sort of a morning person who wakes up very early she doesn't need to be reminded things she just she is her own boss she does 
the, like she is organized she is orderly she knows what to do at what time and she is very prepared she treats her husband she i mean the attributes go read proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31 even if you are a guy listening to this you can go ahead and read and actually know the type of woman that you should be looking for if you want to get attributes of a good wife um now there is the a b c d e f g h of a noble woman and the first attribute a stands for she is ardent and industrious for example when the bible says that she wakes up very early in the morning and goes about her duties so we can say that she is a morning person you know she as much as you don't really have to be waking up at i don't know 5:30 some circumstances of life will just make you wake up at 5:30 and you should be able to wake up at 5:30 and not be the quote and quote lazy person who can't get things done and um yes i know that marriage is a partnership where you need to help each other so that people don't say oh so just because i'm a wife i have to be the one waking up and taking care of the family but i feel like if you yes wake up and take care of the family even their husband will do his part where he also wakes up and supports you and you just help each other because you guys are not just companions you are also partners you help each other out you are there to help him so it means that he should be doing the most and then you just help him on other things right um she is prudent that's the second she's a prudent person and so that means she is wise she knows how to organize herself she like things don't catch her off guard for example when we read about the parable of the 10 virgins five of them came to the wedding with um they are like they are their candles died off because they ran out of oil and the other five were prudent enough to come with enough oil and so their light kept burning and so it is like are you prudent enough to not get caught off guard or are you the type of person who can't see beyond the now so you just have kind of have to analyze and see so if this doesn't work out for my family what what um you know what can i do not to put people in a awkward situation where it's like because when when you are the mother and when you are the wife it's almost as if everyone depends on you and so you need to be the kind of person who is prudent enough to know when to do things how to do things and just literally how to put the house in order now the next attribute is c for caring and uh so she is caring she is understanding and she yes cares for the husband and even it describes that she cares for the husband so much so that this husband is a respected person who uh receives you know is respected in the public people treat him with respect if your husband is respected it means that you are also respected because say take an instance where the let's say it's a display of husbands like 10 men are standing and they say um now let the wives come in front like let us see the wives of these people sometimes we have women who don't even have the courage to like they are not even proud of who they married because of maybe how they look they are not taking good care of them and so if your husband is say a drunkard and they say oh let the wife stand next to him i don't think the wife would be so proud to you know be standing next to them compared to a person who is respectable and who has earned the respect of people so The next one which is D is determined. 
And I believe that you know, the Bible says that this lady, this woman considers land and buys it. And uh, so she is determined to provide for the family. She is determined to acquire as much as she can to be able to fully provide for her family. And uh, we know that, for example, right now, the almost every part of the Almost every country is going through an economic crisis. Everyone is trying to survive the effects of the pandemic. And um, I mean, there, there, are, there are families where if someone is not financially wise and someone is not prepared enough to know how to pro- provide for their family, this situation is really not easy for them right now because... Uh, the financial situations and the economic crisis going on requires somebody who can plan ahead and think ahead and uh, be prepared. Now, E for elegant. Even the Bible says that she is clothed in fine linen and purple. So she is not just um, ardent, prudent, caring and determined. She is also classy. She is elegant. She looks good. She takes care of herself. And, um, you know, she makes sure that she she looks good. Um, hmm. And when it comes to this part, I know that most of the women, they actually focus so much on the part where they look elegant. And then everybody, everything else behind uh, is probably falling apart or just not working as well as it should be. But I feel like, when all these things are going right, the marriage is happy, the family is happy, and even you are looking good. Uh-huh. F for fervent. So she displays emotional warmth and is welcoming and is just a safe retreat for the husband. It's just a safe place to go to, just a welcoming home. You know of these uh, old ladies where most people, especially when it comes to, um, say, anniversaries or funerals where people go and then they start talking about, oh, this woman, even if she had nothing to offer, she, she never chased people away from their homes. They were so welcoming. They would make sure that you don't leave their house before you ate. And such a most of these attributes, just generosity and just being so welcoming and just having that warm emotional feeling and warm emotional spirit around people is so much uh, important to cultivate if you don't already have it to cultivate because I believe you can cultivate, you can start practicing generosity and just because some of these things we learn. It depends on how you grew up. You probably didn't know how to how to host people you probably um need to be taken through how to be nice to people because i mean we're not going to judge each other here we're just going to help each other get to the goal where we are living a purposeful life a good life where we are impacting people around us positively and so yeah and then for g we say that this woman is God-fearing. And so she works, makes sure that she serves her husband, serves the family, and also serves the Lord. So in all the things that she does, because this woman is a boss lady, she is a businesswoman, she also remembers to give thanks to God. Beyond everything else that she gets, everything else that she has, she gives it back to God through service. And so H for humble. This woman is a humble woman who um, even how the husband treats her literally shows her attitude and that she is a humble woman because without the humility and because I know uh, I don't I don't want to say it's not easy, but we have seen instances where the husband uh, in today's society the husband talks of um bibiangu nisumbua like they 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 can't give me a peace of mind they can't listen they can't let me speak it's almost as if you you 
go you get married and then you want to control the husband but i'm not saying that the husbands should control their wives um just you know going uh, just across on the surface a humble wife is a uh, sort of goes back to where we said she's caring and understanding and goes back to where we said that the husband trusts her fully and uh, she is she does good to the husband and she is focused on making her husband's life better so just being humble and serving others being down to earth putting your needs putting the needs of others above your the needs of you but also being humble enough to to uh make a safe place for people around you being a good neighbor being a good uh church member being a good um workmate being a good mother and just being a good wife being a good if it can relate to relationship because she became a wife after going through courtship and you know being engaged so just being a an overall good partner in whatever you do so that's it you guys i do not if i really uh focus so much on maybe i didn't cover what some of you needed to be covered if i didn't we still have a chance to talk about this because this is um our ninth episode so if this is episode 9 we still have quite a number of episodes coming up and if you need something to be talked about or covered more you guys can comment on the comment section down below and actually let me know what you think should be done if we can actually get a guest who will talk more uh, on the a virtuous woman a noble woman uh let me know in the comment section below or uh help us find someone who can shed more light in this because hey as i said i'm also learning and we're just helping each other get to where we want to get so that's it you guys i hope you enjoyed if you have any suggestions go ahead comment down on the section on the comment section down below and um i will catch you in the next one bye guys